Yeah, hello everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. Today is the day we're going to start Chapter 3, I swear it this time. But before we do that, I want us to just take a quick peek at the village. It is coming along, it is almost done. Most of the buildings are completely done. We just need to furnish them. Then we need to complete the library and the church. And then we also have to build an apartment building. I'm thinking here in the southeast corner and then one in the northwest corner for our villagers to live in. And then every one of these other buildings can be some kind of uh, occupation. And we'll leave it at that. I don't quite know how I want to sort everything out just quite yet, but we are pretty much done building a uh, majority of the buildings. We used XK Deco's roofs for the awnings and of course the roof, and then I experimented with different colors. Uh, this green is kind of out of place. I, I don't know why I decided to do one green building and the rest blue and red. I think it's because I just, I had I, I made some green and it was just enough. I also replaced the corners with the stone bricks. I think it, it it's not necessarily that it looks better, but it makes more sense that the corner bricks have um, a, a different texture to them and not the same color. It adds a little more flavor to the environment. Not a whole lot. We didn't spend a ton of time designing this at all. It's actually really basic. I could do something different up here, you know, uh, and then underneath the fascia and whatnot, but that's okay. We're we're fine. We're not worried about it being pretty. We're just worried about it being functional. It does look kind of pretty on the map, though. And then over here, we made a bridge, just like I said I was going to. It's a very basic bridge to link to our new building. It is a little wider than it needed to be for me because I'm considering running minecarts down the center of it or along the sides of it for moving materials back and forth for various reasons. And we'll get into that once we start getting into chapter three. Then underneath you can see the design of the pylons. Yeah, they're very basic. Just a whole mess of stone brick. I have a ton of stone, so why not? A lot of cobblestone, I should say. All right, now that that's over with, let's get on to chapter three. Finally, we have a whole brand new building for it. So what we're going to do is start by, first of all, we need to get power there, right? Well, I don't want to run rotational power from this factory over there. I think that would just look too... Uh, too terrible. It would look bad. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to make a whole brand new furnace engine specifically for the laboratory. And I think that'll be fine because we're probably going to be running a lot of powerful equipment over there that's going to require a lot of rotational power. So what we're going to do to begin with is look up how to make the furnace engines again. So we know we need a flywheel and we know we need a furnace engine. Furnace engine is easy, it's just a brass machine. The flywheel is a little more of a pain in the butt, except that we have this already built to make it, so not really. Let's go upstairs and take a look and see what we need. We come over here, all right, so that is one. We might as well make two just in case we need to, right? Everything else seems to be working just fine, so this seems to be working pretty good too. We might need some something in here. Now, someone did mention that I could have used the, where is it? It is the, not the mechanical piston, not the linear chassis, you, not you, not you, not you. Where are you? There is a machine that I should... Yeah, there it is. The sequence gear shift. Here's the deal. I totally 100% forgot that the sequence gear shift will work with linear distances. Uh, and probably because when I looked at it last, it only shows rotations. Uh, yeah, this thing will work with linear distances. And I forgot about that. So this whole setup that I did here could have been reduced quite a bit. But, you know what? 
it's fine. Uh, it works. So who cares? <laughs> I mean, uh, it, 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 convoluted. Like I, I like I mentioned, convoluted stuff like this is kind of my bread and butter. Uh, I know that we can compact that more, and indeed, we're probably going to compact the iron farm a little more soon. Uh, but it's convoluted, it's hilarious to watch, it, there's so much random crap to make something like this work. I love it to death. We're going to leave it for now. Anyway, let's get back to brass tacks here. Actually, well, yeah, brass tacks. So we need a brass machine. I think we still have some brass casings. I hope we do. And I see one brass casing. That's not good because we need more than one. But let's throw that one in there anyway and get that out. So we need to make some more brass. Or do we have some brass? Okay, we got some brass. We'll at least be able to make one more. Well, let's get rid of these red tiles that we don't... Oh, shoot, we can't actually get rid of them. That's full. How about you? Okay, you're kind of empty. Let's get rid of in the terracotta and the willow sapling that I had to dig up. And then I kind of burned the wood like an idiot. Uh, and I should have just kept it because I actually need some log. I have terracotta in here too. Ah, I have more blue tile in here. Shoot! I made a bunch of blue tile and I didn't need to. That's okay. We're we're fine. It's all good. Alright, there's the brass casing. And then I need a lot more brass too, don't I? Shoot! I do. I need eight more brass at the bare minimum. I only have three. So we're making brass. So we've got copper and we need zinc. Well, what I think I'm going to do instead of... I'm just going to do blocks, right? So I have plenty of blocks here. So we're going to throw you in there. And we're going to throw you in there. <clears throat> Hopefully I remember the right recipe. But we'll let that cook down. So what we're going to do also is we're going to need to start making a bunch of these crafters. Now, I have nine here. I think I need 12, because what I need to make are crushing wheels. These guys here. Okay, so I need... Oh, I need way more than 12. I need um, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 of... The, oh, psh, dirt, it's right there. I need 21 of these guys, so... Oof. Need quite a few more of them, and I get what three at a time uh, when I make these. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I am making brass, right? Okay, good. It's just taking its sweet time to pump out. Got me scared there for a second. I was like, oh shoot, did I make, mess that recipe up? I could have swore it was zinc and copper. It is. I just, I'm, I'm a dunce. What I really should do is set this up automatic too and have this just export the block. But we only need brass every so often. It's not like we need a ton of it all the time, right? While that's cooking, we should probably make the furnace. We're also going to make one of these rotational speed controllers. We're going to get this set up uh, right away to be pretty darn fast for us. All right, there's the block of brass. So what we need to do now is put one of those there and then just surround that all like that. And that should automatically build for us. Our a lovely, lovely flywheel. And there it goes. It all gets put together, and then it goes into the chest. And there we go. So we have nine of those already, and I need 21. So that's lovely. I need 12 more, and I get sets of three. So I need four more brass machines. And I have exactly one brass ingot left. 
Alright, let's go upstairs and grab... I have enough for one. Let's make sure I get... Two. Three. Four. We're actually going to make five. So that we can make the... The, uh... Speed controller. Alright. Say that's one. One, two, three, four more of those, please. And actually, I didn't need that many. But we might as well make them now and get it over with. So, we're gonna one, two, three, four, five. I actually only needed three more, I think. Like I said, we'll just make them now, get it over with. So you, you keep patoinking away. And what we can do is we can make another press over there. And it'll go much faster because we're going to run it off of a new furnace engine. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to run this using a blast furnace instead of a standard furnace. So that I can have far more uh, rotation with it. Uh, rotational units with it. Yeah, I definitely made way too many, but that's okay, because we're probably going to need way too many anyway. So one of those is going to go there, and the rest are going to go to making... Oh, I need... Yeah, I need tables, don't I? One, two, three, four... Those guys. So that's 12, and 9 will make... The number that we need. We're not going to use them right this second. We're going to instead work on getting power set up into the building. Let's sink it. Uh, yeah, shafts are fine. Now I am skipping. Oh, I had some brass machines right here. I'm skipping over all of the other power gens that we normally would be doing because I don't need to worry about them anymore, right? I, I have all the equipment to make the best power gen that we have available to us, which is, of course, the furnace engine. But the thing about this is, is we're going to need to put this outside somewhere. All right. So those, okay, I want the last one to use the speed controller. Now with the speed controller, I also need a large cog. Good, I have one. Great. Let's see. I think that's it. All right, let's go over to the building, the laboratory. Now we, one thing that we're gonna have to do, I don't have a mega torch over here, and I actually don't think I want to put one over here because I really would like to make a mob farm somewhere, but the problem is going to end up being is, I should have made a lot more lanterns when I was making them for the village. Lanterns would look so much better. Uh, the problem ends up being, I don't know where he is, he might be underground. I think he's underground. Uh, stuff's still going to spawn around our building. So I can either torch the heck out of this or just deal with it. Which I think I'll just deal with it. They shouldn't spawn over here. I'm pretty sure I've got this place lit up like a Christmas tree already. Um, Alright, they might still spawn over here, so we'll just put some torches down there. They're not going to spawn over there because, well, we have a mega torch over there. I think we should be okay. Ooh, i got to get rid of this. Alright, that's ugly. Can I do... No, I'd have to break... Let's try this. There we go. That's grass there. Ugh, that is so ugly. Should have fixed that beforehand. And then... 
Oops. Okay, there we go. And then as the snow melts, if it melts, we'll worry about the rest of it. Here, guys, have some... I missed. All right. So I don't want to put the furnace engine inside, and I want to put it over here somewhere, because here's the deal. I need to get the rotational power into the building. We know that already, but I also want it to not be inside this building. What we'll probably do is build a little out station over here that we put the furnace engine in. Actually, we're going to do that right now. Ah, I forgot the blast furnace. Let's go grab that. I forgot the blast furnace, and then we need something to put in the blast furnace. And what I need to do for right now, we're not going to worry about it, but we want to set up the perpetual blast furnace. And actually, now that I think about it, we'll do we'll do the perpetual one. Uh, we'll do the blast furnace in a bit. We're just going to set up a standard furnace for right now. And it would help if I grabbed the right amount of cobble. <laughs> I had a whole stack of cobble in my inventory. Let's try and get that out of there. Okay, that's good. Get everything else out of there. Uh, bring two stacks of wood with me, though. I uh, I need to set up the I, I take the blast furnace wherever I put it. I don't really remember where it is, and set up what's known as the oh god, what do they call it on the what do they call it on the forms? It's basically a perpetual, uh, perpetual smelting engine or something along those lines. Yeah, I think there's a cavity underneath over there because I don't see that creeper. Oh, he may have gone behind the building though. This is—we don't want a creeper sneaking up on us. So let's just make sure that he is in fact not on the surface. Okay, good. Basically, you s send something into the smelter and you pull it out immediately and it starts the cooking process, but you save the item that you're cooking. And I believe that's going to be super beneficial for us. All right, I'm going to put down the flywheel here. How do I want to do this? <laughs> Where's my wrench? There's my wrench. All right. All right. Let's start with the let's start with the controller. So that has to go in a direction that like that, because then we put a cog there, right? So the flywheel has to go like that or on the other side, and then one, two, furnace, furnace engine that is facing the wrong way. There we go. All right. And that looks terrible because it's going down into the ground, but Again, I want to do this in an outbuilding, so it's not going to make a much difference, but because I do want to do it in an outbuilding, now I'm getting picky, but bear with me here. All right, so if we're going to do it in an outbuilding, let's just say uh, here is the line of our Eve. So let's say one, two, then that will be the wall. So we'll put the speed controller right here. If I could remember to leave my wrench on the toolbar, that would be awesome. Okay, I think that'll be fine. And then that can go right in through there. And what's probably going to happen... Shoot, you know, I really should do this back here. Hmm. Here's, here's my thought. I would like to run a minecart supply from somewhere over there, all the way over here, that supplies charcoal that we're making using that furnace engine over there. Because it's being used and just stored, and we actually have it in a void drawer, but if we could run it over here and have it being used over here, 
that would be super awesome. And I might actually have to start uh, using claimed uh, loaded chunks just so that we're certain that it's all loaded to do that. Because if I go like way over here somewhere, these chunks unload. I believe this is showing every chunk that's currently loaded for me. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But I can force load up to 25 is the default. So I might have to do that anyway. But I'd like it to come in through... I really would like it to come in through the back, but I don't want to have to run a supply chain all the way to the back. But coming in through the back would be nice. You know what I could do, though? I could run it below. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a good idea. That's, I, that's actually a really good idea. Okay, so one, two. Wall. We're gonna, we're gonna, just gonna do a quick foundation for this building. It doesn't have to be big. In fact, I think... I think that'll be good. Let me see here. We'll do one more. Even though this is probably not going to make me much better because we'll do a staircase here down in. Wall, 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 wall. Furnace engine. All right, we need rotational controller. Flywheel. One, two. Furnace engine. So let's do another there and then this will define the outer wall i wasn't really planning on building anything today but uh let's at least get the rough outline of it done right and then we can then we can determine exactly what we want to do so what i think i want is i'm just gonna use a lot of cobble do I have any stone bricks left? I have 23 stone bricks left. So we'll just get the rough outline done. We'll work off from there. Alrighty. So here's what I want to do. First off, I need to put in the floor. And I'm going to make the floor these, not the panel, is it the big tile? I think it's the big tile. Ooh, but we need to make this a little deeper. Should we just go... Should we just go 6x6? Six six? I just got done complaining about a 6x6 six six though, so... Let's, yeah, but that was because we needed to be not symmetrical. I think this is just fine. We don't need it bigger than we need it, right? All right. Yeah, this is good. This is exactly the tile I was thinking of because it's a nice smooth floor transition. I do need though a crafting table. Really, it would be better to have a what you might call it saw but that's okay so I need some stairs and what I'm gonna do is put staircase ah see this is why I wanted okay uh, this is why I wanted it uneven because look now I have now I would have to put a double staircase in here and that's what we're gonna do anyway but still it's kind of frustrating because it's exactly what I did not want to do thank you yeah, there's definitely a hole in there somewhere. Let's take a look and see what else we've got here. You know what? Instead of doing cobble, I think I'm going to do the arrayed bricks. So what do I have? A 6 by 5 so uh, 6, 12, 22... Arrayed bricks, and it's actually 20 because I have the stair there, but it will 
deal with that. Actually, that was not correct. Remember, the wall is on the outer side. That was my bad. The wall is out here. So let's put down, let's put down the stone bricks just so that we know what we're doing there. Okay. Like so. That's where the wall needs to go. So the foundation needs to go underneath those. Let's grab. Where are you? There you are. All right, there we go. Just like that. Grabbing a bunch of dirt that I do not need. But now we can put the foundation down. Oops. Just get rid of those. Okay, perfect. Let's just uh, throw down the rest of these. What we'll do is we'll put some random stuff in here. But that's basically that. Now then, here's where things get a little annoying. Uh, I want it to go underneath that building, right? But, uh, well, unfortunately, it's still going to be too high up. What I am going to do... Let's get this back to cobble. Get that back to cobble. Get that back sorted around. And I want some andesite casing. I gotta run back and get some andesite casing. And now is where an AE system would be really useful because we're gonna be doing a lot of running back and forth. And it would be really nice to not have to. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put the cobble back. We're not going to worry about that right now. I'll make some more uh, stone so that we can do that. And also the dirt can go in there. Uh, do we have a place for... That can come out. That can go in. Do, 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 do. That's our food. Sticks can go up in the stick bin. And then iron needs to go into the smeltery. We need to get some lava in there because it is running low. I guess we'll take it from that one. That should be enough to cook the rest of that. And I think, okay, and I got snowball, spruce fence. Where did I grab spruce fence from? I don't remember. And I don't care about snowballs. Okay. Mm. It's got something to set it on. All right, we should be good now. Unscripted! I had a whole thing planned out. We were going to have, like, everything done. And now I'm like, uh, er, ah, e, ah, ooh. That's okay. But now, here's the problem. I need it to go down, right? So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to rotate it around. Actually, it doesn't matter which way it's facing. I'm going to put a cog there. Okay, I think we'll be all set. Um, no. No, I totally just bombed on that. <clears throat> but that's okay. Actually, that works in our favor. So what I can do is put that there now. Put that there. What we'll do is we'll put a vertical and run it down through the floor. And then another vertical or even a belt and run it over into there. And then we can just run it wherever we need to. Uh, but th that also means is I can put the flywheel. Why does that not? Oh, right. The whole reason I brought the andesite casings over was so I can do this. And I think I can move this back one. 
like this. And I'm actually going to try putting this one in because it looks terrible with the cog clipping through the wall. That is facing the correct direction. We'll put the flywheel down because it looks terrible with the flywheel clipping through the floor. Ow! Bollocks. Thank goodness for good armor. That's what I get for working out in the night without paying attention to my surroundings. Wow, he took out quite a bit of that, didn't he? Uh, well, that's okay. All right, flywheel there. That looks good. One, two, three. Furnace. Furnace engine, and I'm one off because it's one, two, apparently. I swear it was three. There. There we go. That looks good. You can even get rid of that now. So what's going to happen is, is we'll have a minecart that comes over here, like somewhere around here, drops off stuff, and then goes back to go collect more. It's going to drop off charcoal, which is going to be fed into, on, of, of, eventually, the blast furnace. But right now, a furnace. Um, we're going to leave the furnace alone. <clears throat> That's going to power the flywheel, which is going to power the rotation speed. Speed controller is set to 16 RPM, but as we ramp that bad boy up, that's going to go faster. Now then, we need to get power into there through here without having to go through the, the building and ruining our beautiful, beautiful walls. I need a few things. First, I'm going to try and do this completely with shafts to start with, because what I can do is run belts off those shafts at a variety of different places. So we'll bring andesite with us. I don't need the brass casing. What I do need, though, is a couple... I want, actually... Alright, I don't have any. So we'll grab cog wheels. I can make two. That should be enough. Two gearboxes should be enough. I also need to get a signpost so I can put laboratory up here. Uh, notice that these pillars, they're shafts. They actually work really good as uh, support pillars. It's kind of nice, actually. Uh, you're just a cr uh, creeper. Uh, Enderman. There's no creepers around, right? Good. Good. All right, so what we're going to do is turn both of these into verticals, and we're going to slap one there. And then what I think I want to do is go... Let me see here. If I go... Will that be good enough? Oh, perfect. Actually... And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it all the way. That's probably where I keep hearing stuff. Let's torch this. I'm going to run it all the way to the other side. Okay. But I think I want to do, actually, now that I think about it, I think... If I run it down here and not here, I can direct it a little easier. Not better, but easier. All right, that's the wall, so I'm just going to run a shaft just like that. And we're just going to run that all the way back. Oopsies. Perfect. Let's see if I can get out of here. That's fine. We can... Uh, that's fine. This is what we'll do. 
Get out of here. That needs to be a vertical anyway. And there. Oh. Nope, he's... Okay, we, we got to take care of this now. That's going to freak me out every time. Well, let's see if we can't find him. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, here we go, right here. All right, buddy. Come on out. Right here. Let's go. Let's do this. Hi. How you doing? Oh, there's another one. Anybody else? God dang it. Look at all this limestone. You know how far away I had to go to get all the limestone for the village? Here it all is, right down here. And that's how it always goes, right? Alright, let's just torch the heck. Hi. Uh, okay. We're just gonna torch this whole place up. Beautiful. That should be good enough. I can't imagine anything's going to spawn over here now. All right, we'll just plug that back up with some dirt. No one will ever know that it's there. Especially not us. All righty. So now that we've done that, though, we need access to get to that. Right? Because it's underneath the floor. I'm actually just going to dig a hole in the floor for right now and worry about it in a second. So it is... Based on what I'm seeing... Should be... Right... Here? Aha! Oh, shoot. That was smart. Oh no! Right? So there's that. Now let's just make sure that if we got everything set up properly, we can just run some fuel through the furnace. So it should be... No, see? I knew it was too far, too close. I knew it. I knew it. The game lied to me. Said it was not close enough. I knew it was too close. Actually, you know what it is? It's turned the wrong way. I had it right the original time. This is not turned correctly. It should be facing dead on because I'm an idiot and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So we're going to have to rethink this slightly, but we'll, we'll get it. Are you kidding me? All right, let's just, uh, dang it, I did all that work. I knew something was off. I didn't want to think that the game was wrong, but uh, something fell off. All right, let's see here. Flywheel. Yeah, rotation. One, two, three, right? We're gonna put the furnace down right there. There we go. Uh, actually, you know what? I can make this work still, I think. So, that goes uh, there. Yeah, we can make this work. It, it, the, co the large cog is still gonna clip through the wall. If it really bothers me, I can just you know, make the wall deeper, but we'll be fine. Hey! Go where I tell you to go. Thank you. Yes, right there. That's how it's supposed to look. I, I knew something looked off. I just was trying to give the game the benefit of a doubt. It was my fault, not the game's. Just, we're going to put that out there right now. All right, everything's turning. Perfect. So, where do we want to put our mechanical crafters? Let's go get them first. And maybe, 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 we'll even be able to make our first set of crushing wheels and get those set up. All right, let's grab these, because we don't need them here anymore. 
perfect. Uh, you are powering you, so that's fine. And you are doing absolutely nothing but sitting there looking pretty, so we will break you. And then I should have 21 mechanical crafters. All right, so here is the deal. These need to be automated, right? To automate them requires a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to look at the crushing wheel recipe. So it's three, five, 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 and three, right? So we know that we need at least five spaces. I don't necessarily need these to be centered. The other thing that we're going to need is two sets of crushing wheels doing their thing. No, not two. No, we need two sets of crushing wheels, but we need like one on one side and one on the other of the mechanical crafter. So what I think I'm going to do is try and center this if I can. How wide did I make this thing again? Oh, see, I made it symmetrical, so I actually can't center it because it's a three over five, a five over three recipe, and that will be no bueno. So it's going to look awkward because it's not going to be centered. But we'll do the best that we can. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Okay, I see exactly what I did wrong. I went too fast. Give me that back. Then... Eh, no. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. So what I'm going to do here for now is I'm going to manually insert to make my first set of crushing whales, but we're going to do just like we did down in the sand room. We're going to put a bunch of brass funnels on this bad boy. Huh. 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 There you are brass funnels, and uh, set up an arm to insert what we need in each one of these. Uh, for now, though, so we need to get power from here to here, preferably right here. I should bring this one out. Yes, yes, I should. Yes, I should. This should all be one out from the wall. So it should be and then we'll just make ourselves a temporary scaffolding because I don't like Minecraft scaffolding. I think it's a waste of resources when you can just build the same thing. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, one, two, three, four, because we need to be able to put up font. Oh boy. Man, this is the problem with a too wide thingy here. All right, we can put the funnels on the other side, but... Hmm. It just looks ugly. All right, new plan. We'll do the same thing that we were going to do. But... What we'll do is run the power up behind over here, right? So what I'm going to need to do, I need to get power over here. And we're going to actually run some lighting down here. And it needs to get to this cog wheel. And I need it to go through here. So what we can do here, let's see. If I run, all right, if I run some chain gears down, then run over to there and over up to there. 
Yeah, okay, I think I know how I can do this. I just need some more res resources. So I need some more chain, I need some chain drives. I actually think if I grab five chain drives, I might be able to make this work the way I want it to. But uh, of course I don't have any chain drives, do I? Oh, I have four. Dang. Uh, two iron nuggets. Well, good news is, is I've got plenty of iron now. Or I had plenty of iron. I used it all up, didn't I? Yes, I used all the iron that was in there on lanterns. <clears throat> There's actually some lanterns. I thought I had used them all up. We'll replace those two torches with lanterns. Ah, there's some iron. So we'll grab you. And then I need two shafts and an inside casing, which I should have all of. Okay, there's that. I also need some belts. And I need to drop some inventory off because I've got too much junk. What I should do is make a drawer controller so that I can just dump everything into one drawer controller and not have to go through this mess. Limestone cobble. Dirt. Is the dirt drawer full? That dirt drawer is full. That dirt drawer is not full. Okay. Oak logs we'll just throw over there for now. I think we made our point. And then we have zombie hearts over here. And the rest of this can just go in there. Let's grab you guys so we can replace those two torches with these and make it look more aesthetically pleasing. There we go. That looks good. All right, so this is what my thought process is, is I'm going to take that off, actually, and I'm going to grab one of those, and then I'm going to go like that, and then I'm going to go like that, and that should run over to here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take... How can I do this so that it's most... All right, put that shaft back over here yep this is where we want to do this for now and actually I can save myself chain drives by doing it this way perfect Put you down, go like this, come across, put it in there. That will power that. So that takes care of that, right? Now we just got to get up. And that actually is probably not that bad. Now then, the recipe for a crushing wheel is five sticks in the center surrounded by any kind of cobble. Great. That actually, like any kind of cobble, like will regular cobble, yeah, a regular cobble will work just fine. Infested cobble will work too, interesting. And then we need to output you, right now we'll just put you there. Yeah, I don't think we have enough room. We definitely don't have enough room to put two grindstones next to one another on either side of this. This building is actually too small for this now that I'm looking at it. That's a shame because we... Uh, it's not that we spent a lot of time on it. I, I actually spent quite a bit of time getting it set up. Uh... I think that'll be fine. You know what? Let's just do the this and that. All right, that's gonna go in and then up. That's gonna go up. 
those are going to go over. I think that should be fine. Let's find out. So we need a bunch of cobble and we need five sticks. And then that'll get us some crushing wheels and then we're almost at the end of this episode so maybe next episode we'll work on the crushing wheels. We got... What am I doing? I need cobble down here. So it's five sticks. Uh, which means I need, what, 16 cobble. Twenty's fine. Grab a couple extra sticks, just in case. Fuel. Alright, there is... There is, should be some charcoal already in there. We'll grab some wood. Then come all the way over to the lab. All right, we'll put the recipe in first. Let's be smart. We don't need a creeper coming into the lab while we're working on this, right? And we'll just put those back. Oh, there is a blizz over here. That's annoying. We're gonna have to take care of him before we can do anything. Shoot. Creeper. No. No. Okay. That's one creep. That's fine. I think that actually gave us a debuff, but it's already over, so I don't think it's a big deal. Alrighty, let's, uh, yeah, we got some charcoal. Let's throw that in there, and then let's watch the magic, right? So there it goes. There it goes. It's building. It's building it for us. Look at that. It's going slow. And actually, if I have enough, we'll do another set, because we need two sets anyway, right? And boom! Crushing wheel. And that should be two crushing wheels. Awesome. So, that's going rather slowly, right? But we want it to go super fast. So let's go and just grab a few more. And what we're going to do is we're going to ramp that speed controller right up and see if we can't max it out. And if we can't max it out, then we'll at least have it as fast as we can get it to go. And I'll just do what I should have done to begin with, which is just grab a stack of booth. And I probably should just make a whole mess of the crushing wheels so that when we start next episode, we can get that singularity going. It won't be automated yet, but it'll be close enough. It'll be cool to watch. Let's just make sure that we are fully fueled out here. Um, all right, coal out. Oh, oh shoot, where did my wood go? Hi, man. How you doing? Oh shoot. Hi. Everyone's coming to visit. He's more dangerous than you are. <laughs> oh shoot. I mean, don't shoot. Oh no. Oh god. Well then, that was close. Uh, and we don't have any food. Even better. Hey man, come down here. Yep. 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 Okay. Now we're gonna try and escape to the front. I'm actually gonna try and escape over this way. Holy sh Nikes. We have to be careful. We have to be super careful, because we're, like, low on health. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. 
can't end like this. How are we out of food? Be very, very quiet. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh hey boy. Super careful. Need to start putting zombie heads on pikes out front. Try and scare them off. Whew, boy. Potato. Potato. Give me my health back, potato. That was way too close. That zombie, not only was he a dangerous zombie, he also had an enchanted bow. I should not have engaged that particular zombo. Zombie. Skeleton. It was a skeleton, not a zombie. Undead. That was oh, way too close. That was just way, 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 way too close. I am actually 100% honest. I am surprised I lived that. Lived through that. Almost ended our run. I don't know what I would have done. I would have cried because we've gotten so far. I really, really would not want to. I'm really, honestly, I probably would have cried. See that? Let that be a winning. Let me be a warning to myself to make sure that I make stuff safe and secure. Okay. Oh, but before we do that, we need to come over here and we need to grab our wrench. And we're going to, we're going to ramp that all the way up. Look at it go. Perfect. I do need to get a, uh, whatchamacallit, to see how much juice that's using up. But... Look at it go. So this should go pretty darn fast now. So we have our sticks. Two, three, four, five. And then we have our cobble. Watch it go boom, boom, bang! And it's done. Now what's frustrating is it's not telling me that I've maxed out my rotational controller. I should have gotten an achievement for that, but it's probably because I need to use it as a blast furnace. So let's actually just check that out and create. Yeah, over. Okay, so it's overstressed the furnace engine in this version of create. It's not max out the speed controller. Gotcha. Uh, is there a speed controller achievement? No. Yeah, I do need a stressometer though. Huh. Launch a thrown item fly up into a fan powered chute. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually true. I could just get rid of a bunch of those chutes and have just one do it. I don't need a dozen chutes there. Mechanical arm operate. Operate your jukebox. I know they dance to the jukeboxes, but and then I want to I probably should I probably I would like to make some Nixie tubes Okay, so uh, it's over stressing the furnace engine, which we haven't done uh, Let's pick up those crushing wheels so that we get that achievement But we can put that back so next episode we'll be working on putting the crushing wheels down now then It might behoove me to move the crafter setup over here into a corner either here or over here and then just have oh my gosh why didn't i think of that yeah actually that's what i should do because then what i can do i just did that apparent apparently it da 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 da, -da. No, not again. So it must have been something else. It's not showing up. It's just, I'm, I could have swore 30 seconds ago that showed up. Ah, what are we going to do? Okay, so what I'm going, thinking of doing now, moving this over, because then what we can do is these take up kind of 
sort of a 3 by 3 It's not really because I can kind of get in here. It's actually just the center that it's taking up. Uh, but I need to put them kind of not quite like that. Like that, right? And they actually need to be... I guess it doesn't matter. They need to be rotating opposites, which is easy to do. But what I could do is set up a set like that, and then a set like that. And actually, I could do it this way. Uh, they don't have to be vertical. I can make them horizontal, but I like them vertical because I'm crazy like that. But I could do something like this, right? Oh! Oh my gosh, yes I could. Oh my gosh, yes I could. Oh my gosh. We need to make crushing... Okay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I need to generate more cobble and get it sent over here. We generate plenty of cobble there. So here is my thought process. We're going to get those running next time, but we're also going to do something cool, hopefully. I need to play around a little bit because I haven't done it a lot in this version of Create, but we need to run some rail lines. We need to run a rail line from this building and we need to run a rail line from upstairs somewhere uh, all the way over there. And they can be a shared rail line. They don't have to be the same rail line. But what I need is this charcoal and I need excess cobble. Oop. Glad to see you're still working properly. How are you doing on power, by the way? Ah, you're full. And I need to run it over to the laboratory. And the charcoal can go to fuel the furnace engine. And the cobble will go to be crushed. Or to be used to fill these slots. So here's what's going to end up happening. What I'm thinking is... I'm going to have a belt that runs over. And I'm going to have another belt that runs alongside it. And we're going to have some brass tunnels to separate cobble into either going to the crushing wheel or going to the crafters. We're going to have an arm that places the cobble into the appropriate slots as well as sticks. So we'll also need to bring sticks over here too. So we're going to redirect sticks from going upstairs and it's, they're going to come over here. I think. I think that's what we're going to do. So that we're our... Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to redirect sticks over here. And then... Okay, so sticks over here. Charcoal there. Cobblin sticks inside. What else do I need? I need a way of making sand. So sand... Is gravel into crushing wheels. Gravel is cobble into crushing wheels. Okay, so this is what we're going to have to do. This is going to be really convoluted. I need... Oh gosh, I should I should definitely... Um, I, uh, this building isn't big enough. This building isn't big enough. I didn't think about it this way. No! Okay, I know how I can do... Okay, I know how I can do the gravel into sand. So instead, what we'll do is we'll do, um, turn on your sides, guys, and be in the right spot. Eh. We'll do cobble in, turns into gravel, gravel turns into sand, right? Or I can do it, oh, I can do it dropped. I just have to get the cobble up top to drop down. Okay, uh, we have a plan. <laughs> we do have a plan and I think, oh, but you know what? If I do it on the ground, I don't have to run stuff up and I can just run it on a belt that feeds in. Yes, okay. What is the stand needed for, by the way? We need to make TNT.
Oh no. We need to make TNT. Ah, that's what the slimy fern was for. Oh no. Okay. Okay, this is no longer a lab. Ah, uh, this was going to be a lab. This is no longer a lab. Well, it kind of sort of is. We are combining chemicals. Okay. We have a plan. Uh, we got to work on it. It's going to take a while to get it working properly. But I do think in lieu of what I was saying with the vertical crushing wheels, grinding wheels, we're going to do a series of horizontals. And I think actually they'll fit better because I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, it'll fit better that way. Next episode, I'm going to set up some crushing wheels to get working on stuff. But at the same time, so half the episode will be working on getting the crushing wheel set up. The other half is going to be working on getting a mining cart system delivering goods and services to there. So I have a couple options. I'm going to look into them. But that's neither here nor there. It's not going to get done all in one episode, obviously, but we're going to do it kind of in parts and pieces. And hopefully by the time we're down to this area, we'll have a supply train working the way that we want it to. Spirit cycle is set up a monster spawn or some kind. Check the check mark to skip. Click on the check mark to skip the fern duplication contraption. But what if I want to do this? What if I want to do both? Alt contraption. We'll do both. We're gonna we're gonna go through both and see how both work. But hopefully by the time we're ready for this, we'll have a minecart system. Actually, ready for this. We'll have a minecart system set up and ready to go. Guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like down below is much appreciated. Of course, you can always hit that sub button and the bell icon to be no notified of future uploads. I don't do a lot of advertising, so if you want to tell your friends about the videos, if you find them interesting, go right ahead. And uh, I gotta make sure that I remember to shut the doors. I wonder if I can add the double door mod in without breaking the whole game, because that is kind of annoying to have to do that every time. Anyway, Zwalker saying stay safe and check you later.